Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to add a new website to a Google Analytics account. Um, basically if you don't have Google Analytics you really should get it. Google Analytics will uh, help you understand your visitors better. Uh, they'll help you to see how many visitors you're getting each day, what, what your uh, trends seem to be over years and different things like that. And so you really should get a Google Analytics account. It's free um, and it, it is a little bit complicated to understand but once you understand it it'll help you out a whole lot. Um, now if you don't have a Google Analytics ac account, uh, like I said it is free. Um, however, uh, you should sign up for a Gmail account and then um, you can just go into google.com slash analytics and then uh, you, I believe you just have to accept their terms and stuff like that. And once you log in, you'll see a screen uh, similar to this one. Uh, you can see I already have one account added. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to add an account. They consider each website to be basically a new account, uh, even though it's really all in the same analytics account. We're adding accounts to it. So don't want to get you too confused there. Um, but basically over here on the right, you can't see it. It's off your screen, but there's an admin button. Uh, it's real easy to find. It's right on this orange bar here. And I'm just going to click on admin. And you can see once I do that, there's a, a new button here that says new account. So I'm going to click that. And then I will uh, basically, uh, we want to add a website account. That's what we're tracking. We're not tracking an app. Uh, right now they have uh, this uh, beta test going on for Universal Analytics or you can do the classic analytics. Uh, we'll just leave it with the Universal for right now. Um, you know, when you actually watch this video that might change. But um, anyway, so that's what we've got right now. Uh, first thing you'll want to add is a name. This is just a name that you'll recognize um, when you log in so you'll know what account you're looking at. Uh, so I'm just going to add blog right here. I'm going to put down that it is my website's blog. I'm going to put the URL in here so it's already got the HTTP on it so you can see I removed that one. I then will pick a topic here. I'm not going to spend a lot of time looking at each of these topics but you might want to make sure you pick a good topic and I'm just going to go right to internet. Uh, you'll pick a time zone that works best for you and then the account name I'm going to put top surfer blog. Now this is up to you whether or not you want uh, uh, you want to share data with other uh, services. Uh, I'm just going to click no. I don't think my information should be shared with everyone. And that's pretty much it. I need to accept this. And here is the code that you need to put on your web pages. Now this can be put on every web page. Uh, one thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually just copy well, it won't let me click out of this. I'm just going to copy this information into this blank form and really all I need is this number right here uh, for what I'm doing and now I'm going to show you how to add uh, Google Analytics to a Get Simple CMS uh, website. Get Simple CMS is basically it's a, it's a content management system that we offer on our hosting pages and uh, we add the Google Analytics plugin here and once you do what you do is you go to the plugins you go to Google Analytics settings and then all you need to do is add that number as you can see it gives you a sample here you hit save and now it's been added and so that's how simple it is to use it with uh, get simple CMS and that's how simple it is to uh, create a new account hope you enjoyed the video